My name is Jonathan Pasquale, and I'm the owner of Taproom Coffee here in Kirkwood, a historic neighborhood in Atlanta. Taproom is a specialty coffee and craft beer spot, so kind of a community hub where you get great coffee, great beer, um, and uh, it's a good, good hangout spot, place where you can study or meet up with friends, have some good drinks. My journey to eventually owning my own place started with kind of a conversation, um, really simple conversation that everyone has all the time of, uh, you know, what are you going to do in the future? And a friend and I were talking and we're like, okay, when we retire one day, maybe we'll uh, stop whatever we were doing and then open up a coffee shop. And that was just this far off dream. So a lot of people dreamed of open, opening a coffee shop. And then uh, I decided to actually take some steps to maybe have that dream be accomplished in the future. So I started working at Starbucks. So it was the, the first step in order to even set the stage to the possibility of eventually accomplishing that big dream of owning my own place. It definitely helped to, to learn from a, a larger corporate structure like Starbucks. So they have great systems in place and those systems are there for a reason because they work. Um, and I was able to, to take what I felt could apply on a smaller scale and to, to implement it where it helped my smaller a lot smaller shop, smaller business, smaller staff. Um, but I saw the, the, the value and benefit of having good systems in place, I mean, checklists and, um, and cash handling procedures and, and different things that other people who, uh, who actually live out that dream of starting their own coffee shop or whatever go into it not knowing any of that and not knowing that um, those kinds of systems that help larger corporations could also help them to just be organized, be streamlined, um, help with putting out a consistent quality product. Uh, so I, I was able to apply a lot of the things that I had learned from Starbucks into um, a smaller scale, a lot smaller scale. Really from the ground up, you know, I started learning about coffee, learning about coffee shops, learning about, you know, running a place. So I was, you know, worked my way up to a shift supervisor. And in addition to making drinks was uh, doing some other, you know, small supervisor kind of duties. So learning what it was like to, to, to start to run a place. Um, and always had the dream of love back in my head. Um, not really acting on it actively at that time, but just being a barista and getting some experience and getting my feet wet and learning about the industry, learning about uh, what kind of a place uh, I would maybe want to run one day. Then the opportunity just fell in my lap to open up a place and it wasn't offered up to me to be an owner but it was to be a manager and to make all the decisions that went into starting a coffee shop location from the ground up so I actually was able to uh, be thrown in where I helped with some design and some purchasing equipment and hiring a staff and then managing that staff and, uh, and running a coffee shop that I was here in Atlanta um, and where I didn't uh, I didn't have to have my own money on the line. I didn't have to have any risk to myself. I was able to actually paid a salary and um, someone just said, hey, do this for us, you'll get paid, and it may or may not work out. And so I was like, great, it's like this golden opportunity. Like, why would I even say no or consider saying no? So jumped into it and, uh, and got my first experience opening a coffee shop. It was a matter of being in the right place at the right time and then taking that step to take advantage of the opportunities so that I could gain that experience. I could have said no at any time to any one of those locations, um, but said yes every time. And, and all of those experiences in the past set me up for success now when I am the owner, when it is my money on the line. Uh, and so it, it, I'm really grateful for all those varied experiences.